Hi. I'm not entirely sure what to call this video. I guess it's going to be a first look at a flute that is more of a collaboration. Um, a friend of mine let me know that he was going to be retiring from flute making and his name is Don Butler and he went by Wind Blown Studios. He was mostly a wood carver and a wood turner and he is in a position now to where he feels he needs to stop making flutes due to some moving and things like that that's going on. And so he let me know that there was some wood and, and stuff that um, he wanted to let me get a chance at purchasing from him. And uh, a little bit of tooling, um, things like that. Some other things that I might be interested in. And one of the things that um, I wanted to get from him before he entirely stopped was one of his flutes. And he had changed his mouthpiece design because I had taken some of his flutes with me to um, the Solstice Flute Festival in Utah this last summer. And people had commented that the design that he was using on his mouthpiece looked fragile, I guess would be the only way to put it. Um, it had more of a nipple type mouthpiece and, and the nipple portion um, I'm just going to grab this flute real quickly. This, this part, um, it was rounded like this and then came to this nipple portion, but it was quite long on most of his flutes and very, very thin walled. And people thought that it looked a little delicate. So Don had changed his mouthpiece because of the input that I had given him from that a uh, little sales venture. Um, he had a few flutes already made. This one interested me. It wasn't quite finished yet. It was all shaped. The, the block was rough shaped, rough cut out. Uh, no tuning holes and it was probably about six inches longer, five inches longer, something like that. Uh, it was making a beautiful, beautiful sound. It was about a C sharp, I think, if I remember correctly, uh, before I started cutting it. I was going to have him finish the flute. He s suggested that I just take it as is and for me to finish it. So we agreed to that. Um, he was intending for it to be an E, so that's what I made it into. This is Alaskan yellow cedar, and it's very interesting. I'll include some pictures, some close-up pictures of it. Really interesting grain, some wormholes that he had filled, and a knot in here. Um, a little kind of a wolf head, coyote head. And here's how it turned out sounding. I didn't do anything to his sound making mechanism. That's all his design. Um, and I'll do a full review on this a little bit later. This is just the first look. out with a great great voice um, again he made the, the sound making mechanism I just did the 
the, I cut it to the, the length to get the fundamental E and place the finger holes um, kind of the way I do mine and then finish the flute um, sealed. He had already sealed the inside one time. I, I put some more sealant into the slow air chamber, things like that. Love the way it turned out and I'm going to be keeping this flute that uh, represents kind of his last batch of flutes. Again, Don Butler flutes. I'm sorry to see him going. Let me know what you think of the sound. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.